Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about the 1945 Speed Twin. At the end of this video, I'm going to start her up. I'm just hoping it doesn't throw me over the handlebars. Few specs regarding this motorcycle. First of all, is the colour. Uh, its proper name is uh, Amaroth Red with Chromium Finish. Also, the Speed Twin was capable of 90 miles an hour with also 40 horsepower, so it's no wonder they called it the Speed Twin. And the interesting thing with this bike is as well, it's only two owners from new, with only 9,800 miles. So as you can imagine, the condition of this bike is absolutely beautiful. Over the years, it has been restored to a very high standard, but it still keeps its original patina, which is very clever when you can actually do that. We've even got the original logbook for this bike and the original tax disc. An interesting fact on one of the tax discs, it says uh, in 1953 it was £1.08. Very different from uh, today's standards. A few details on this bike. First of all is the glove box, which is really handy in those days. So they could have carried tools around or even put in your sandwiches in. Also the suicide number plate on the front, which you never see no more. Also the tank pads, so at high speed you could grip the fuel tank with your knees and it just made you feel more in control of the motorcycle. One of my favourite things about this motorcycle is Triumph were the first company to introduce the steering dampener uh, where if you're on load with the power the front can come very light and it shakes the handlebars from left to right, well the steering dampener eliminates this. Two days ago we got this bike started so let's see if we can get it started now. First of all, we need to turn the bike on. So anti-clockwise, a big switch here. And then we'll open the fuel taps on both sides. Uh, single carburetor, which I need to prime as well until the fuel starts leaking out. And then hopefully we can start it. to get it fired up on the second kick and I'm sure you'd agree with me say she's 74 years old still sounds absolutely wonderful I love having this bike in the showroom it's, it's fantastic on the eye and also 12,980 pounds which is an amazing investment opportunity because these bikes will go up and especially to own a piece of British motorcycling history anyway enough of me going on this bike makes me proud to be British, so on that note, I'm going to drink my tea. Cheers.